Hi, okay, I am going to unpack my suitcase for you to show you what not to pack if you're going to Southeast Asia. I uh, came home with a 62 pound suitcase uh, and that's way more than you need considering how hot it is in Southeast Asia. You don't wanna wear that much clothing so, it has been an entire week since we've been home. I have not unpacked my suitcase. I did, however, go through it already to take out the dirty clothes and we washed those and I brought them back to show you. Okay, we're just gonna dive in and I will make this as organized as I possibly can. Okay, as far as toiletries go, one, I brought these two bags. This was full of my makeup. I did not wear makeup at all. Um, the one thing you do need is face sunscreen and then if I wore anything at all like three times I think I put on I know, like a little eyeliner and mascara and I also have this NARS stuff that I used a couple times like on my cheeks so this entire thing I carried around with me packed with all my makeup was worthless don't pack makeup I brought this bag and I just tried to be as prepared as I possibly could. So let me see. Instead of bug spray, we got these off deep woods wipes. Like apparently these work a lot better than spray. We only really need bug spray in Bali and uh, in Thailand. I should have put on more because I came back with some bites on my legs. And we brought 36 and they're double packs. So just like calm down with the bug spray. Sunscreen, we went through, this is like empty. A uh, whole thing of sunscreen in two weeks. I brought Dramamine, which was a suggestion I saw, and I don't get like super motion sick, but I just saw it as a suggestion, and I'm really glad I brought it because I used it for a car, a long car ride trip we did in Bali, and then on our boat trip to the PP Islands in Phuket. Q-tips, didn't really need them, and we stayed in resorts and they had Q-tips. Root pump spray for my hair, I used twice maybe aloe vera definitely the sun is so intense that i got really burned the first day and peeled and aloe vera i don't know i feel like aloe vera is honestly worthless because it's like you're gonna peel anyways i guess if it's hurting it feels good but whatever some hair stuff i didn't use i brought my own shampoo and conditioner which was fine phuket I'm glad I had it, but I would suggest bringing your own shampoo and conditioner if you, that matters to you. I didn't bring my Sonicare toothbrush. I brought a little toothbrush, which was good. Tinted moisturizer that I'm like, I'm gonna wear every day. You don't wear anything on your face. I just wore this plain sunscreen because as your face is literally dripping off from the second you walk outside, you want to be able to wipe your face. And if you have tinted stuff all over it, that's just gonna be a mess. So just, me out. Um, I brought a bunch of earrings. I think I wore two pairs the whole time. I brought a bunch of these makeup removing wipes. Didn't use these at all. Another thing that was suggested to me was to bring like flushable wipes, kind of like toilet paper you can take with you because places apparently don't have toilet paper. I didn't use these once. Um, everywhere I went had toilet paper, but again, we weren't like going totally off the beaten path. Hand sanitizer. I brought two of these. Didn't need two but I did use it and I just kept it in my backpack. I came prepared with like Tylenol, didn't need that. Uh, sunscreen, lip balm is good because it's really hot. I really just had way too much and I like I didn't even unpack this really the whole time. As far as like undergarments went, I just had a strapless bra and a black and a nude bra and then, and then I just brought underwear for every day I was gonna be there. I brought all these different like bandeaus and stuff that I thought I would wear. Didn't wear these once. Oh, I did wear this one one time under a dress that didn't wrap all the way. I brought like hair scarves and all this stuff. Belt, I wore this one time. Um, didn't need any of that. I brought like hair clips, didn't wear it. I brought this gold chain belt. I did wear, do look super extra by the pool in Singapore. Okay, light pajamas, breathable, that's good. Except because it is so hot, everywhere inside is really, really cold. So actually, in our room at night, I was cold. So I brought these two purses. Alec had this like side camera bag thing he carried around everywhere and it had a zipper, it was really secure and we just kept a credit card and some cash and our room key. And that was it. And so I did not need a purse. I did 
use this in Singapore, but I didn't even need it. I mean, I had my camera that I just sort of carried with me and I didn't even need my phone. I think Alec carried it for me. I don't know, I had like a fan. Oh shoot. So I carried this around in my purse, but shoot. Again, more like brought this to take a picture in it in one place. They smell really smoky for some reason. I had all these like accessories. I'm like, I'm gonna be so cute and put all this work in. No, you're not because it's you're gonna just sweat and you won't care what you look like because you want air conditioned. I brought three pairs of sunglasses, a pair. These are all Quay. Okay, but this is taking a long time. So I use packing cubes. Highly, highly, highly recommend using packing cubes. So I had one for swimwear, one for my dresses, one for tops, and then bottoms. Let's start off with something you really don't need. I way overpacked my swimwear. And I really, really tried to narrow it down, but I bought so many new ones for this trip just because I was excited and wanted to. I only wore a one piece one time. It's somewhere in here. Mm, I don't know. We'll come across it. We brought a few different high-waisted bikinis and this is just like your preference because sometimes I like a high-waisted bikini if you're feeling a little bit uh, thick from eating all the pad thai. But since the sun is so intense there, you get tan lines really fast. So if you're wearing all these high-waisted things, you are going to get weird tan lines. So I think I wore eight bikinis throughout the trip and then one one piece but I packed an additional one to, I packed 17 bathing suits. So honestly, shout out to my packing cube for holding all that. Oh, 18. And then as far as bathing suit cover-ups, I just had like a casual little throw on. And then I wore this one a lot um, because it covers my shoulders and it's cute. Okay, everything is a little out of order. Okay, I'm gonna go through my dresses really quick. I probably could have had one or two more casual, just like throw on, like casual day dresses. I brought this maxi dress that I wore once, and like I care so much about photos that I don't really wanna like wear stuff multiple times. Like I did, but not if I'm planning on taking a lot of photos. I brought a lot of these types of dresses. This one broke, which was awesome. Oh my gosh, more bikinis. <laughs> We're at 19, what the heck? But yeah, I just had lots of like cute little dresses like this, but it's almost a little too formal. This one was just for the Bali swing. And then just like a simple black dress. I actually wore this a bunch of times. This one was really cute. I bought this from Red Dress. It is wrinkly as heck now. And I'll link all the things I bought for the trip in the blog post. But I also wanted to be appropriate just because um, you're in a different country and you look different and I didn't want to be too revealing. Um, even though it is really hot, I did feel a little weird, especially in Thailand. I felt just slightly more on guard. Um, so I didn't really want to wear like short little rompers and things like that. So dresses, nine dresses for two weeks. So yeah, it's not a lot, but it's okay. So I had a few tops, but like this one, the whole back is open. So again, I felt like a little much just walking the town. I had a few of these different crop tops. These are from Amazon, but it looks different than it does on the model. And I just felt a little revealing. And this is really good because I didn't also want to wear a crop top everywhere. So just having something different would be, uh, was nice. Didn't wear this. The only other thing that was really different, I would say, this blue top has little sleeves to it. Again, it's so hot. So you really don't need anything with sleeves in my opinion. It's kind of unnecessary. And then this is just a Lululemon tank. This was just a really useful, simple tank to have, nothing crazy. I actually didn't like wear my like fancy special ones at all. I just wore my plain black one and this bad boy. So I overpacked on shirts, but that's just me personally. Okay, so the one thing I really did not pack well on was bottoms and this is like the main reason I even wanted to make this video because this is heavy actually filled with different skirts and shorts and pants and I wore this I wore white high-waisted shorts these high-waisted plain denim shorts and then this pair of new distressed denim that's it I think at one point I did put these on um these like pants but guess what it's really hot you don't want to wear pants I also brought these pants, but then I also brought like this skirt. I brought workout clothes, which I brought these shorts. Um, I brought another pair of shorts that were getting washed. I brought 
these shorts. I brought these shorts. I just didn't need them. I didn't wear them at all and they just took up space. Um, I did bring my hair extensions. Nothing crazy. I have Barefoot Blonde Up, which is specifically for updos, and then just like two little wefts from my normal pack. As far as shoes go, a pair of white tennis shoes, these that I wore on the airplane and traveling around and then I wore them walking around Singapore. Just a cute pair of tennis shoes. I feel like it's good to have. The shoes I actually wore the most were these flip-flops. Uh, I wore these every day. I also brought Gucci sandals that I did not need to bring. They're cute, but considering where we were and what we were doing, just unnecessary. I also brought these sandals. A little bit more decorative. Um, I did wear these a few times just because if I didn't want to wear... Wow, the jewels are like really coming off on this. Cool. If I didn't want to wear my flip-flops, then I wore these, but I didn't wear them that much. I brought heels. I did wear these with the sparkly dress that I wore in Singapore and that's the only time I wore them. But I knew that going into it and it was worth it for me to pack these little heels. Other pair I brought that I really didn't need were these. I didn't even really wear these. I mean, maybe like twice if I was wearing a dress that I felt needed heels, but I could have just worn my little flat sandals. It's all casual there. I would recommend bringing a sun hat just because they're nice to have at the, like when you're in the pool and you don't want to get any more sun on you because as fun as it is to be tan that is not good for your skin and I can recommend a great self tanner to you. I brought my curling iron um I think I used it twice. It probably would have been fine without having it at all. It was like I don't know good. I curled my hair and then put it in a ponytail so. I did have adapters. I don't know where they are. Maybe Alec has them or we left, oh. <laughs> we got these on Amazon. They're super great. They have like a bunch of different ways you can use them depending on what country you're in and what kind of electrical adapter you need. We only needed these, whoa. We only needed these in Phuket. All the other places we stayed in, Bali, Singapore, and Bangkok had US plugs. I would highly recommend this. It's an RFID stopping little case. I don't know how often that actually happens and your identity gets stolen, but I guess it's good to have. But we just kept our passports in it and all of our important documents. Going through customs so often and immigration and stuff, we flew on seven planes. So having everything in one spot was really, really helpful. And this little thing is flat and little and it fits everything we needed. We also brought a GoPro and we used it one time in PP Islands and so that wasn't crucial. We also brought Alex's drone and I carried it in my backpack everywhere and we used it one time. I think that's it. Okay, I was finishing editing this video and then I realized that the camera stopped rolling just as I was finishing the OG video, which is so annoying. So that was it for me what not to pack for Southeast Asia. Um, if I forgot about anything, I'll put it on the blog and you guys can find links to everything on the blog post as well. So if you liked it, see you in the next video. Like and subscribe. Bye.